prime factors, highest common factor and lowest common multiple. Maths cast 11. There are three questions here. We're going to start with prime factors. So here's our first question. Express 60 as the product of its prime factors. We start by writing down our number they've given in the question, 60. We then split 60 up into two numbers that times together to give 60. I've chosen 6 and 10 as you can see in yellow on the example. You could have also cho chosen 3 and 20 or 30 and 2 and it would all work the same in the end. However, in this example we've chosen 6 and 10. We now look at our two numbers, 6 and 10, to see if they're prime numbers. Neither of these are prime numbers because we can still split them up into more numbers. We can split 6 up into 2 and 3 as I've done in this diagram. Now we look at 10, can we split 10 up? We can split 10 up into 2 and 5 as I've done here. We now have to look at all of these numbers to see whether they're primes. If they are prime numbers, we'll circle them. We need to circle all of these numbers at the bottom because they're all prime numbers. You can't divide them by anything other than one and themselves. We nearly have our answer now. We just need to write it out as a product. We do this by writing the numbers we've circled out times each other. So we've written 2 times 3 times 2 times 5. You must remember to do this last step or you won't get the marks. We will now move on to highest common factor. So here is our question. Find the HCF of 24 and 36. HCF stands for highest common factor. To answer this question, we use what we've learned in the previous slides on prime factors. We're going to write the numbers 24 and 36 as their prime factors. Let's start with 24. I've split 24 up into 12 and 2, two numbers that times together to give 24. There were other possible answers, but we've chosen to use 12 and 2 in this question. 2 is a prime number so we circle it. We can split 12 up into 2 and 6 as I've done here. Again 2 is a prime number so we circle it. When we split 6 up we get 2 and 3. These are both prime numbers so I've circled them. We then write all the circled numbers as a row. So we write 2 times 2 times 3 times 2. We now do the same for 36. We're going to split it up into its prime factors. I'm going to do all of this in one go. When we split 36 into its prime factors we get 3 times 3 times 2 times 2. We now look at our two lists of prime numbers. We put squares around the ones which appear in both lists. You can see I've put a square around a 3 because there is one 3 in both lists. I've also put squares around a 2 because there's a 2 in both lists. And there's another 2 which is in both lists. To get our answer, the highest common factor, we multiply one side of the square boxes. On the right hand side I've done 3 times 2 times 2. This gives us the answer of 12. So the highest common factor is 12. We will now do the final part of the question, the lowest common multiple. Find the lowest common multiple of 8 and 12. This is very easy to do. We just start by writing down the first few multiples of 8 multiples are the times table. So the times table of 8 is 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. We then do the same for the 12 times table. We write down a few multiples of 12. These are 12, 24, 36, 48, 
and 60. We then look at both lists. We're looking for a number which appears in both lists. The smallest number in both lists is 24. So the lowest common multiple is 24. Now attempt the questions on the next slide and as always ask your teacher for help.